Hello everybody, it's Charlie again, and I'm currently playing LEGO The Incredibles. Obviously you guys are familiar with um, The Incredibles, um, they're a pretty famous IP in general. Um, obviously this is one of the LEGO games that I really enjoyed because it's it follows very closely to the movies. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and do my first review of the new year here in 2024. Uh, another replay review, but yeah other than that. Let's get into it. Hope you guys enjoy Hey guys, what's up? I'm back for 2024 replay review as you can see we're gonna start off with mr. Incredible he surely is incredible super strength guys if you're familiar with the movies This Lego game was actually a lot of fun unexpectedly so but it was a lot of fun because it was heavily based on the movies um, here you have Elastigirl um, his wife, obviously, of Mr. Incredible. Another one of my favorite characters. To be honest, I like the whole family. It's kind of hard to pick. Um, I do have my favorite, but even in the game, they all play really well for their strengths. So you don't have to worry about picking one that's lesser than the other. They all have their uses because it is a Lego game, you know, after all. And um, the cool thing about her is that since she stretches pretty far and stuff, she also has a gliding mechanism. Like in other LEGO games, you guys have seen it with the elastic kind of characters. And she turns into a top as well. <laughs> so, it does have a bit of humor because it is a Pixar movie. But it, this is probably my favorite Pixar movie. I'm not really sure which one you guys would pick. But I was waiting for part two forever until it finally came out. And, you know, I also enjoyed it. Not as much as the first one, though. And then here is Dash, my favorite Incredible because of super speed if you guys don't know on the channel i love super speedy characters that's why i've been waiting for a flash game for like forever so when that recent flash movie came out i was very excited a lot of people didn't like it i thought it was i thought it was great that michael keaton came back and all that and uh, ezra miller did a pretty good flash despite you know the controversy i don't want to get into it <laughs> but um overall i do think that this is a pretty good lego game and I do really enjoy the way they use the characters in it. I don't have any complaints, honestly. And right here is Violet, the older sister of Dash. Her powers are very similar to the Invisible Woman from the Fantastic Four, like uh, telekinesis. She creates basically force fields. And I don't think she can go invisible, though. I don't know, she can, right? I haven't seen the movies in a while. <laughs> But yeah, this is a game that I do recommend in 2024 that you should play if you like LEGO games. Even if you don't, this is for the whole family. Just fun for the whole family, guys. But yeah, I think overall you would like her as well in the game. The most powerful character out of the Incredibles is Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack here is, you guys know, multiplies his body. They still don't know all the powers that he possesses, but... They show at least most of the ones that he shows in the movie, like laser eyes, basically green laser eyes, um, multi multiplying his body. And then th the other options are within the menu screen where you can literally pick from, you know, I believe um, right here he turns into a, like a monster with super strength. You know what I'm saying? Like Jack Jack is, is a very powerful character that they created in this universe. And I do like him quite a bit. You know, um, it's just the variety of using him. You know, you get you get a bit more variety than the other characters just because he's so overpowered. But it's a Lego game, so overall the game is still fun. It really doesn't matter who you pick, okay? And you you just have a good selection to pick from. Obviously, not as much as the usual Lego games, as you can see here. He turns into the Human Torch, basically. He turns his whole body into fire. <laughs> it's pretty insane how he can just go back and forth into different abilities and all that. Um, and last but not least, Frozone. Mr. Frozone is not a family member, but he might as well be because he's like best friends with Mr. Incredible. And Frozone is, I think, played by Samuel Jackson, if I'm not mistaken, the voice. And this is a character that I really liked. I like Ice characters as well. I thought Iceman from the X-Men is obviously a favorite, I'm pretty sure. Uh, basically, Bobby Drake, I believe is his name. But I do like Frozone quite a bit. I like his personality. I like his uh, conversations with his wife and stuff like that. You know, and they ha they show a lot more in the second movie about him. But here's the character menu. Like I said, it's not as big as other Lego games because this universe 
has a limited amount of characters overall but uh th i would say that the selection isn't bad at all guys and if you guys are wondering why i'm wearing this this is actually a robe that i got for christmas so <laughs> not that you guys care or anything but i just thought i'd wear it because it's cold as hell just to let you guys know and i didn't exactly want to be wearing jackets all the time but there's vehicles as well to pick from unless the girl's bike is in there which is really cool they have other vehicles that you've seen in the movie that will remind you of that stuff and it's just a really well done Lego game based on a familiar, you know, fan favorite familiar movies that you enjoy. And here's the Red Bricks. You guys know how Red Bricks work in all Lego games. Um, another character, I believe, I think his name is uh, Thunderhead. He controls like explosive lightning or something. He can fly, so there's flight characters to get around easier that you can pick from. I would suggest using them sometimes because so you can get a better look at the map. The world and the styles of the buildings is the same as in the movies. So if you've seen one and two movies, like I said, the second movie wasn't as good as the first one, but there's a lot more of certain characters in the second movie that I do like about it. So there's things from both I can pick from. I don't remember what this hydro. I forgot her name, but she's very useful in the game. Um, I, I, all I can say is some of the characters that are less well known that they mention basically in the movies, like vaguely and stuff, they're very useful in the Lego game for different things. Obviously, you know, Lego games work in those functions, things that you come up with and all that. But yeah, if you guys like um, basically Pixar or like Pixar movies or just Lego games in general this is another one of those superhero games that you're gonna enjoy and it does have a lot of humor to it that um, makes it a little bit different a lot of Lego games have humor but this one is you really know that there is humor to this movie from the movie from the jump you know there's a basis of humor and this is how you pick the levels that you can replay obviously I'm not gonna put the levels in here I don't want to spoil anything but if you watch the movies you might have already been spoiled I guess but if you haven't I'm not gonna spoil the movies for you I recommend watching the movies and playing the game kind of together and I think you would have a, a pretty good experience over here is just basically guys the main menu um, or, or layout but uh, obviously the financial district, the map is pretty big. You know, you get a pretty good layout. It's not a, it's not the biggest Lego map I've ever seen. But it does give you a very faithful recreation of the actual world of the movies. Um, I just wish that, yeah, I hope they keep making them. Honestly, I want a third movie. I know some people may not agree, but... Or maybe some of you do agree. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, third, a third movie would be great. There's so many things to find also on the map. There's si there's uh, side stuff that I'm going to show you guys. Like right here, um, I'm playing with Mr. Incredible. I go ahead and, and I stopped some criminals here. Um, and the moves feel like the hit, the impact. You know, Mr. Incredible feels actually strong. Not like in a lot of Lego games, they're hitting people and dudes still jumping around. No, he hits one of these guys. They go flying. And they have these catapult things to get on rooftops because not every character can fly, obviously, you know. But you see how solid it is? That's the difference between this LEGO game and a couple others. That um, the hits feel like they actually hit. Here's another guy. He just robbed a lady's purse. And I use a dash to stop him with my super speed. And there's stuff like that randomized around the city that you can, f for you can feel more like a superhero. And that's some of the side stuff, you know, aside from the main missions. You don't want to do only main missions, let's be honest. You know, you always want some of that side stuff. Some people don't care for it, but I think it's important to keep the game going. You just need some additional stuff. Because these stories, you're familiar with them if you watch the movies, and once they end, you're like, man, I wanted more type of thing, you know, and you don't want... Basically, it just brings more to the game. It gives you a reason to keep playing. There is collectibles as well, guys, so it's your, you know, run-of-the-mill lego game with additional stuff but i am gonna give it a rating guys i think my rating for this game is definitely a seven it's a solid seven i do recommend this game i think it's pretty good and i'm basically these this is just some of the basic menu options that you can pick from on the menu you know like the control scheme you know as well as when you enter codes to make the game easier and all that but yeah like i said this is definitely a solid seven for a lego game 
Uh, it's not the best Lego game I've ever played, but if you like the IP, you'll enjoy it. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, go game.